I'm going to welcome in to the studio after a long time of not having seen you for a while, Julia Seeger, our health editor. Um, hi, hi, Julia. We all know about radiotherapy, surgery and chemotherapy, but why is it so important to develop new treatments for cancer? Well, you're right to underline the fact that we're all familiar with so-called traditional therapies, and chemotherapy is definitely saving uh, many lives worldwide, but it's at the cost of many side effects. As you know, it damages healthy tissues as well as the tumor. And also there's this problem that we never know if the patient actually got the right dosage at the right location. And this is why many scientists around the world are now uh, really focusing on targeted therapies against cancer. Now, these are smart drugs that can really precisely target uh, the, the, the cells that are responsible for the multiplication of cancerous cells. And perhaps the biggest breakthrough here is immunotherapy. As you know, it won the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2018. To understand immunotherapy, you need to first understand how the immune system works. So what actually happens is when you're faced with an external threat, let's say a bacteria, a virus, or an allergen, your body first is going to protect you with the natural barriers, such as your skin and your mucous membranes. But if a pathogen actually enters your, uh, your body, then the immune system comes into play. T cells are going to come and kind of like at the security gate at an airport, it's going to scan those cells to see if they're normal or abnormal. If it finds that it's abnormal, it's going to neutralize the cancerous cells and get rid of it. And the problem that we had is we didn't understand why the immune system couldn't recognize cancerous cells. And we actually found just very recently that they had this ability to develop a sort of camouflage capability, which uh, made it completely undetectable to the immune system. And they did that thanks to a protein called PDL1. And this is how immunotherapy, or at least the idea of it, was born because we can now create these uh, genetically modified antibodies or T cells in the lab to then help the immune system target and flag those cancerous cells before they actually become tumors. It certainly sounds like a game changer, I would say. It's a huge game changer, indeed. Um, and uh, sort of clinical trials have demonstrated positive results uh, around 30 cancers, including lung cancer, kidney cancer, and, of course, melanoma. Tell us a little bit more about that, Julie. That's right. It is indeed very promising. The side effects are also less important than for chemotherapy. The only risk, perhaps, is the fact that when you start, uh, you know, when you, when you restart the immune system, it can kind of be carried away and then start attacking healthy cells as well, which then leads to what we call auto immune uh, symptoms and inflammatory uh, pathologies. Now, there's also another uh, targeted therapy that is very interesting because it also seeks to reduce the side effects, which is uh, targeted radiotherapy. And here you're going to inject nanoparticles inside the tumor, which is actually going to increase the force of the x-rays of the radiotherapy about tenfold. Um, and that's going to happen only at the very heart of the tumor. So that's also very interesting. Now, another, and I think you're going to find these pictures absolutely mind boggling. Uh, but Chinese and German scientists were also able to develop what we call nano robots. They were able to 3D print them. And uh, what it is, is that those little tiny robots are actually going to be able to, um, to, to, to start going into our bloodstream and bring a molecule, a medicine, for instance, within a tumor. So you're actually going to see uh, those pictures. They look, uh, these uh, small little robots, they actually like, they're fish-shaped or they look like, you can see this is actually happening in a Petri dish. So you can see this small little robot c going up what... Uh, this is actually a, a sort of little crab taking that molecule and it's going to be able to bring it from point A to point B. And this is actually, get, we're actually almost there yet to uh, start using it within our veins. Now, this is a, quite a breakthrough indeed. Um, what they can also do is bring that medicine, but they can also create these really small thrombosis so that it cuts the blood flow to the cancerous cells and the tumor just kind of dies by itself. So it's absolutely incredible. Now, of course, most of these therapies are not yet available to the wider public, but uh, there are more and more clinical trials worldwide. It's very exciting, and it does open a whole new, uh, you know, a whole new way of treating cancer. And, and gives us a lot more hope as a result, doesn't it? Absolutely. Julia Seeger, a pleasure as always. Thank you. Thank you, Annette.